Circle G Ranch. Metal sound from the Circle G Ranch, Mississippi. That is very cool. On a February morning in 1967, during Elvis hours, 2 or 3 a.m., Alan Fortas, another member of the Memphis Mafia, Elvis, Priscilla, Sandy, and Jerry had driven out to Lennox Farms in a double cab pickup truck to purchase a Tennessee walking horse for Elvis's father, Vernon. We're driving back to Graceland and it's dawn and Elvis sees this beautiful white cross overlooking this lake. Jerry says Elvis told Alan to pull over. I know it was mystical to him because this was a time when Elvis was doing a lot of spiritual reading. Elvis had Alan knock on the door of the farmhouse right then and there. The property's owner, Jack Adams, who also owned the Twinkletown Airport in Walls, asking $437,000 for the house, cattle, farm, equipment, and 160 acres of land. Elvis wasn't one to negotiate or wait for anything he wanted. He agreed to the price, and within a day or so, his crew began moving in. It was rechristened the Circle G Ranch, G for Graceland, according to most accounts, and though some say the G was for Elvis's mother, Gladys. And here's the rest of the story. So this was Elvis's ranch house at Circle G. And you can hear cars behind me. This thing's on a four lane. This used to be just a two lane road out in the middle of nowhere in the country. But you can hear it's grown up quite a bit. And I'll show you a, a comparison picture where you'll see this, uh, this little fence on the side. And there's a metal gate here. And even the building that was in the backyard at that time is still back here. You'll see it on the right hand side of the picture. And you'll see a bunch of uh, luxury cars sitting around the house, some old Lincolns and that kind of stuff in the front. Now keep in mind back at that time, this was way out in the boonies. And there's honeybees actually that have built a nest in this building. And here's the back of the house and the cross and the bridge and the horse barn are all over in there. The cross is way over there, the bridge is over there. The horse barn was right here, which was L-shaped that he kept his horses at. But this is the house, still here. They actually use this at one time as a florist, believe it or not. Um, so it took a beating being a, a business For that period of time but elvis used to park his cars right under this garage or this carport and go right in that door right there he lived right here and of course this was gated you know it's fenced off there's still a gate there's still a white fence that is in that picture you can see the wood right there and there's the gate going into the farm but this was his house in Mississippi at Circle G Ranch in the 60s, late 60s, 68. I think they got married in 67, if I remember right. So 67, 68. They spent their honeymoon in this house right here after they got married in Vegas. Yes, indeedy, that is what happened and it happened right there. And this is supposed to be a picture of Elvis inside this ranch house. You can see he's standing right in front of the chimney or right in front of the fireplace, I should say. And this picture right here, I believe, is to the left of the house in the driveway. And you can see over Elvis's shoulder to the left, that is the horse barn. And we're going to look at the horse barn in a moment uh, as we go through the video. But this is one of the very rare pictures. There's not many pictures at Circle G that are actually there. A lot of them are at Graceland, they say, are here. And this is Elvis in one of the ranch trucks. And you can see the edge of the Circle G logo to the bottom right. It's got those little wings on it. And notice on the door it says the house of the rising sun. That's because the Circle G Ranch is where Elvis kept his favorite horse called Rising Sun. So there, this is excerpts from a book. It says Graceland was more gone with the wind than Bonanza, but there were several acres of pasture behind the house. And it was there at the end of 66 that he bought Palominos for Priscilla and himself. And it was, however, hardly Wyoming either. In the years since, he bought his home. Memphis had grown, spreading out its tentacles out along the increasingly busy Highway 51, which is now Elvis Presley Boulevard. What he needed was somewhere more private for his new hobby, and he spotted a solution one day while out driving. It was a small ranch in Mississippi, Walls, Mississippi, which had that giant cross. It was Priscilla who would write, Picture postcard perfect, a lake, a barn, a beautiful house, and 160 acres of paradise. There was also a herd of cattle to go with it. Elvis had to have it, and the owner of the ranch, Jack Adams, who had made a fortune selling aircraft, saw him coming. They made the deal on a handshake. 
When Vernon heard that Elvis had agreed to pay $450,000 for the ranch, he was livid, shouting that their finances had been destroyed. But Elvis wanted it, so a mortgage was arranged. And from what I can recall, uh, they used something from Graceland. They either second mortgaged Graceland or first mortgaged it or used it for collateral. They did something. Um, they called it Circle G Ranch, and the G stood for Graceland. He wanted more horses, too, for the guys. When the word got out that he was buying, the price of horses in the area soared. The vet who looked after them, Dr. E.O. Franklin, could only watch in astonishment at the spending spree. We would go out and look at $300 horses, he said, but the people found out it was Elvis. They wanted $3,000. And Elvis didn't care. $300 or $3,000, it made no difference to him. He wanted it. Elvis style, friends. And this is more Elvis style. Naturally, uh, all the horses had to have saddles and bridles, and he and Priscilla and the entourage and their wives and girlfriends needed the right clothes to wear, the boots, the belts, the hats, the chaps. Just like drivers wore in Rawhide, it was everybody's Western fantasy. Then another thought emerged. If they were going to be living the country life, they had to be a uh, pickup buying spree too. One day he bought eight pickup trucks, which were rancheros from what I can recall, for all the guys in his entourage. Franklin remembers that he bought horse trailers so the guys could have some place to stay, or house trailers, I should say, which were small trailers. The money must have gone through. Even Grandma got a, a trailer home on the ranch. So this is a truck. This is another one of the fleet. And you, you saw the other one, if you may not have noticed, had the number four on it. I don't know how many there were, but I know there was at least four ranch trucks that had the Circle G logo on it and had a, a number designation. Mr. Lewis is standing in front of the number. In this case, you see he's got an EP on his shirt. This is a trailer that was put at Circle G. Elvis had trailers put there, and actually, for the first two months of their marriage after they arrived here, uh, Priscilla and Elvis lived in the trailer. They did not live in the ranch house, believe it or not. They did stay in the ranch house, but it was so close to the road, it wasn't very um, private for them, and he put this trailer on the other side of the fence behind the house and, and some other trailers. And this particular trailer came up for sale, and believe it or not, they wanted $90,000 for it because it belonged to Elvis. And I understand the Elvis uh, phenomenon, the Elvis provenance, but I don't know about $90,000 for any kind of house trailer. And this shows the windows. That's today. You saw the three windows before. And so the trailer is what it is. It's a trailer. So we'll look through a few pictures here of what it looks like on the inside. So this is the kitchen part and the dining room part. You can see it looks like your typical trailer from the 60s. That's in the living room. They've got that little uh, retainer wall there or the little bearing wall. This is inside the kitchen. Now we're going to look at the bill of sale and let's look at the date. You can see that it says Circle G Ranch and it says February the 20th, 1967. This is where it was assigned. You see Circle G Ranch. This is when they had the auction that we talked about. They auctioned off all kinds of stuff, and this was the day of the auction, and this was in November of 67, and that's interesting. They used an El Camino pickup truck for the auction company, and people just went out there and bought Elvis personal items. Can you imagine? And then this is the bill of sale where Elvis signed. Nobody bought the trailer. Their name is not on it yet, but this is where he signed November the 10th, 67, to give permission to sell the trailer. More or less, if you bought it, they put your name at the top and there's an Elvis Presley signature right there. So friends, I sent the glory up to try to get a shot similar to the one I had seen before. This is uh, the glory up high overlooking and you can see uh, the road to the right hand side. Now, as I mentioned, this used to be a two lane and so in just a moment, we're going to see the picture of when it was a two lane and you can see the lakes. Now this was during, see, you can see the two lane in the, in the front and you see all the Cadillacs and Lincolns sitting out there. And the white fence that I pointed out is still right there. And the little building over to the right and the fence in area just to the right of the house. And there was a gate there. You can see the gate is missing now. And there's actually a bank to the right of it. The bank is no longer in use, but it was not there at this time, of course. And there's another structure way on the other side that turned out, I asked some locals about it. it, turned out it was a Mexican restaurant at one point. So let's go look at some other parts up in here at the Circle G Ranch. So first things first, let's send the glory up. 
I'm going to take it from the shot that you were just seeing, the still shot, and we're going to get up over the house. And you can see the trees have really grown since then. A lot of those trees weren't even there at the time. And another thing is, is where the fence was around the house uh, is where the is the road is where the Elvis had a gate out there, and that's gone at this point. But that's what the house looks like. And there's talk of somebody's bought this thing to develop. There's talk of uh, moving the house and adding an amphitheater out here and some things like that. So I'm trying to get involved in this. I've contacted them, not heard back from anybody. But you can see there's a gate there. The roads are pretty much the way they were in the uh, prior picture. If you look at this, after we get done looking, I'll show you the other picture one time again. But the roads are pretty much where they were. And you can see over to the left, that red top, that is the horse barn right there. Out in the distance, you see the bridge over the lake that Elvis had constructed to move the horses. And I'm just looking around so you can just kind of see how uh, much growth there is around there now. In that other picture, there's very few trees out there, or either it was wintertime. It's really hard to say. And I'm going to turn back, and so you can see the horse barn right there. The On the far side of those trees out past the bridge is where the cross is. So let's go take a look. This is the iconic bridge that Elvis had built. And they're supposed to be revamping this place, repurposing it more or less. And you can see they're, they're putting stakes out right here and they've got a electricity pole right there. Of course, that's old. I'm not sure how old that is. But on this side of the bridge, it's offset. I wonder what that is about. Is that how it was? Well, this bridge is not looking so good I think this part fell is what it is this piece that I'm standing on dropped down it was even with that there's a story that Priscilla dropped a ring I've heard it both ways I've heard that she accidentally fell off her finger into this lake pond whatever you want to call it and i've also heard that her and elvis were arguing and it fell off into this lake and pond she, or she threw it and i've also heard that uh elvis came across this bridge with ice on it on his horse and they tried to get him not to do it but he did it anyway but you can see that bridge has fallen right there so that's going to have to be repaired There's the iconic cross. Just a beautiful place out here. I can't wait till they revamp it. This bridge is starting to crack a little bit. I don't know what this is about. Let's go put a bell down here. I hear a big old bullfrog.
There you are, friends, a trip across the bridge, the iconic bridge. Oh, I see they've shored it up with some wood, keep it from falling anymore. This was the office, friends. Or not the office, this was the office, but this was the horse barn. You can see it's L-shaped. So we're going to start doing a comparison picture right here. That is Elvis on his horse, Rising Sun, and that is the back of the same building that he is behind. This is the, the back of the office side of the L-shaped horse barn. And you can see it's in terrible disrepair and it got painted red at that time it was white but this thing is is basically falling apart and i've got there's very few pictures actually of anything around the circle g ranch um but i've come up with a couple of things that i can use for comparison pictures and vernon used the office out here uh that was on the other side and i heard uh lamar uh fike tell a story that Elvis was just buying people vehicles like crazy, Ranchero pickup trucks specifically. And there's like people out here painting and he was like, uh, hey, uh, give that guy a truck. And he said, hey, you know, you've already given him a truck and stuff like that. And he said, Vernon stepped out of the office. This is not the desk in the office. It's actually around the corner here. He said Vernon stepped out of the office and said, man, we're in trouble. Elvis has spent $98,000 giving away vehicles or buying vehicles for everybody. And, um, uh, what am I going to do? And he said, well, he's your son. You talk to him. But of course, Vernon never did. And, uh, Elvis would just get on a buying spree and he would start buying everybody, um, things. So that was the office that Vernon used right there. And there's two bathrooms out here too. I don't have any pictures of Vernon in this office, but I do have a picture of Vernon and his two stepsons, uh, the Stanley brothers, when they were little out under this. So let's take a look here. When I go back out, I'm just looking around to see what's in here. Whoever was in here left all kinds of stuff. And of course, none of it is Presley related, but there's a lot of uh, horse related things, business related papers and stuff that people have just sifted through that are out here. So let's go back out and take a look and I'll show you my comparison picture. So when I walk out of the office, Here's the bathroom out here, and here's the bathroom. And this is, there was other tenants, of course, since the 60s. It's been over 50 years, so there's a lot of other people that were here. But I'm going to show you pictures of Elvis's dad and brothers, stepbrothers, standing in front of some of these structures right here. So, y'all take note. So this picture is Vernon and his two stepsons, uh, the Stanley boys, uh, these uh, kids, and a baby horse. And you see that post right behind Vernon. I believe that it post is here. I'm going to show you a still picture of it in just a moment. And I believe it's that left post right there. And so you could see the post going all the way down. Now the place was in a lot better shape back then than it is now. So we're going to kind of walk through the rest of it. And you can see it's really falling down. So... Stay tuned, friends. Just take a look around just like I am. This is inside the horse barn at Circle G Ranch. What's left of it?
This is an example of another picture that was taken out here. And as I mentioned, there's not very many, but you can see Priscilla on the right. I think this was directly behind the house as well in the fenced in area. And there's a bunch of people there. And that's one of the things that they did here was always had a bunch of people, saddles, uh, trailers, all kinds of stuff went on here. So I think they had fun. Nice and treed and peaceful back here. I doubt any of these trees were here at the time Elvis was here, but or they were really, really small if they were. A little valley down in there. I mean, you got to consider Elvis was here right at 50 years ago. I think we're within a year or two of it being 50 years. That was a ways back, ladies and gents. A lot of things can change in 50 years. But a lot of things can stay the same as well. That cross has been here a long time. This is the iconic cross. You can see how tall it is. And it's out here, right on the lake. And there's the bridge over there. Just a beautiful place. This was his ranch in the 60s. Elvis's. Friends, this is what's left of the barbecue grill. Still has the E on it. Somebody has removed all of the working parts of the P. But that was Elvis's barbecue grill that he built right here. And they've stacked cordwood around it. So it is where somebody told me it was. They told me it was here. You can see the cross over there. So that is it, friends, right there. Just like that. I think people robbing bricks off of it. So this is what the grill used to look like before it was vandalized and hopefully they can get it back to this. I think the new people are going to be making a replica of this. Unfortunately, uh, it's too bad they don't have the actual one, which would have been really cool. And let's talk about when they did this. Um, Elvis bought this in February of 1967. In May, on May 1st, Elvis and Priscilla got married, 67. They went to, they had their vows at Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas. You've probably seen the footage. After the reception, they went to Palm Springs for their honeymoon. And on May the 4th, they flew back to Memphis, stayed at Graceland for two nights. And on May the 6th, they went to Circle G and continued their uh, honeymoon there at the ranch house. Now, some people say that they stayed in a trailer there as well. Uh, they nicknamed it the Honeymoon Cottage. Um, and they stayed there for a good portion of May. And then Elvis had several movies that he was making. Uh, and by the way, on June 9th, Priscilla found out that she was pregnant with, of course, Lisa Marie. But Elvis made, uh, on June 19th, he went to uh, make Speedway, and then uh, in August 18th, he got done with Speedway, and then during the breaks, he would go, uh, go to Las Vegas and Palm Springs, not really back to Circle G, and I think he did come back to Circle G in some in August, some in September, and instead of riding horses, he was target shooting. And uh, by the end of September, he decided to sell the ranch and put it up for sale. He put it up for sale on November the 4th. About 2,000 fans and collectors came to Circle G for a public auction. And they sold tractors, trailers, TV sets, equipment, all kinds of stuff, and raised over $100,000, about 108000 is what I was told. I mean, guitar cases, all kinds of stuff that was Elvis, which was uh, bizarre, really. And on May the 20th, 1968, he sold it for $440,100. And I recall reading that he didn't have enough cash to buy this place originally and actually had to mortgage, uh, put a second mortgage or a mortgage on 
Graceland to buy Circle G. And I think when he got his money back, of course, he paid it back off is what I would think. But that's just bizarre to me that a guy making three movies a year at $3 million a piece, or I mean a million dollars a piece at $3 million, couldn't come up with three or $400,000 cash. But I guess, you know, that was a lot of money. That's about $3 million in today's money, by the way, uh, what the place sold for. And uh, they did stay at Circle G during the 67 Christmas season. And uh, the, by the way, Elvis bought a lot of trailers here. He bought Ranchero pickup trucks. He bought everybody saddles, horses. And so they could all get together and have a good time. The Memphis Mafia brought their families, wives, and everything and really enjoyed their time here. So for the rest of this, I'm going to fly the glory so you can just kind of look around. A lot of people wonder what it looks like up in there, so I flew the glory so we could see from a bird's eye view. And just enjoy, friends. I'm going to fly around try to see all the things I think you would want to see. And so, friends, I know I reiterated a lot of the information telling you twice in two different places, but I did that on purpose 
so you could kind of get a feel for what all happened here. He was only here a very short time. He literally spent just a few, probably five months total at the very most at this ranch. But I thought it was an interesting part of Elvis history. So thank you so much for watching, friends, and tighten up every chance you get.